Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can track footages and place 3D animated characters in that easily using Blender. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that, if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado, let's begin today's video. So here you can see I am using Blender 2.92, nice. Now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now let's change this workspace to motion tracking. So further click on this plus icon, come to this VFX and select motion tracking. So we got this workspace here. So let me import our footage first. So click on this open button and import your footage. So here I got this footage from pexels.com download link in the description if you want to use the same. So here you can see we got our footage here. The first thing we need to do is we need to match the footage settings with the output settings. So come to this output settings here, output properties. So footage resolution is full HD 1920 So it is same here and FPS is 30. So let me change this frame rate to 30. Okay. So after that, come to this render settings, scroll down to this color management and view change this to standard. So once this is done, let me bring it here. So here we can set these scene frames according to this footage. So let me show you. So currently this frame rate is 1 to 250. So the actual length of this footage is 307 frames. So you, you can enter it manually or else simply click on this set scene frames. So it will change this to 307. Okay. So after that click on this prefetch so that it will load all the frames in the memory so that we can play back easily. So now we can say we can go through the footage easily. Nice. So once that is done, come to this marker options. Here we can either manually add the markers. So if you want to add markers, so for example, if I want to place a marker at this place, make sure to select high contrast points in your footage. So if you want to add a marker, hold key and click left mouse. So a marker will be added. So come to this track here. We can change the position of the marker here. So place the marker here. So if you want to add markers manually, make sure you add minimum eight markers here. Make sure to add at the background and foreground also so that the output will be much better. So if you don't want to add manually, so let me show you, let me delete the marker. So if you don't want to add the markers manually, you can leave it to Blender. Just click on this detect features. We'll get plenty of markers here. So here I know that this will be not constant one. So I will delete this marker. And also at this point. So here you can see I have deleted the markers which are on the trees. I left the markers which are on the ground. Okay. So now come to this pattern size and search size. I will increase this to 80 so that it sets some more pixels there. And let me enable this normize also. Nice. So once these are done, just press Ctrl and T to track all the markers here. So, so here you can see we got pretty solid graph here. Nice. It means that most of the pointers or markers are in their position. So only few are out of their position. You can see we got these red boxes here. So we can hide out them by pressing Alt ND so that we can rid of that. Just hide them out. So now click on this solve button. So it's not short on the tripod so i will enable this keyframe so i think 1 to 30 frames is a standard where there is no deviation in the track point so i will leave it to 1 to 30 so let me enable this focal length option and let me click on this solve camera motion so here you can see we got a solve error of 0.14 pixels which is very much good anything less than one is good so make sure you get as much low error you get so here 1.14 is pretty much good so i will leave that so if you got this error high we need to clean up that so we can come to here expand this cleanup here just enter if you got 1.14 pixels error just enter one here so the error markers with one and above will get eliminated by selecting this delete track option just select this delete track and clean tracks so the markers with one and above error will get deleted 
after that again click on this solve camera motion so repeat this as you get this solve error as low as possible so here i'm happy with the result 0.14 it's pretty much good okay so after that let me bring it here scroll down and click on this setup tracking scene so we will get our footage along with the default cube and a plane here nice so now let me select floor here first so select any three points here so i will select this one hold shift key and select this one so select three markers in the footage which are on the ground okay now click on this floor button so floor will be set there now select a single track marker which is going to be an origin so i will make this as origin so i want to place our 3d carrot here so i will select that one and click on this set origin so we got that position here but you can see the scale is very much small so we can fix that by coming to this distance so i assume that the distance between these two keyframes i think i will select these two keyframes and i think the distance will be one meter so if i leave this to one and set scale you can see we got this much of scale here so if you want to increase let me give it as three and let me set scale and okay so i'm happy with the size of this and click on this apply scale okay so once this is done now click on this layout so here we are not seeing our footage here so press zero on the keyboard to come to this camera view angle so here you can see this is offset very much off to our scene so we need to adjust the angle of our camera so select the camera here now let me rotate it and adjust as per the our scene So here you can see I have adjusted the perspective of our plane and cube as per the perspective of our footage. Okay, so once this is done, now come to this render viewport, click on this world properties, color and add environment texture. So here if you got an HDRI image of your footage, it is well and good to use. So here I don't have the HDRI, but I will use the video footage only here to make some of the replications of the HDRI so that we'll get some reflections onto the character so click on this open and let me select that footage only so i'll select the footage so okay so here you can see we got this hdri at the scene so this is not the correct way to do we need to have perfect hdri image okay so since i don't have i'm doing like this so come to this render settings scroll down to this film and make it transparent okay so now you can see we got our cube here now select the cube let me place it just about this plane here hold control key to place it just about this plane okay nice so let me enable this ambient occlusion bloom screen space reflections refractions okay nice so now let me change this render engine to cycles and let me enable this gpu also so here in collections in collections we don't need this background we can delete that one okay so light let me add another light here because we are not getting this shadows so let me go to this add light sun okay so let me grab it the sun let me place it here now press r to rotate it so that we will get some shadows here so let me select this light and let me increase the strength to five okay so here you can see the shadows these are falling this side so let me rotate it like this okay nice let me reduce the strength to three okay nice so if you want to get this smooth shadows increase this angle here so just increase the angle of this shadow it will get smoother so let me change this angle to five okay you can see it is getting smoother so play with the value of this to get your desired shadow look okay so now once this is done now come to this mix ammo here from this we are going to use characters and animations just create an adobe account and log in using that and later you are good to go so from this click on this characters so here i have selected this character we will get a bunch of characters here so let me show you here you can see we got these characters 
select any of the character you want so i have selected this character so once the character is selected click on this animations and here search i want dance so i will be searching as dance so from this you can choose any of the dance you want suppose if i click on this the character will acquire the dance okay so once you are selected what kind of dance you want just click on this download button so make sure the frame rate is equal to the frame rate of our footage so our footage frame rate is 30 so i will leave it to 30 and download it so it will be downloaded in fbx format only so make sure that it is downloaded in fbx okay so once we have downloaded our character so now select the cube delete that cube and now let's import our character so the origin point is here so the character which we are importing will be placed at this position only so come to this file import it is an fbx file so click on this fbx and select your character so select it and import so here you can see we got our character so let me increase the scaling so press s and increase the scaling and let me rotate it this side let me place this here okay so now you can see we got our character here now select the armature let me hide it out and hide it out okay so by default our shadows will be available because the plane the ground plane will be acting as a shadow catcher so if i select this ground and if i come to this object properties come to this visibility here you can see it is set to shadow catcher so by chance if you have deleted that plane add it once again and come to this object properties and make it as shadow catcher okay and also make sure we have enabled this transparent option okay so once this is done you can see we got our character so now let's render this and see how it looks so come to this render and let me render this an image so here you can see we got our image rendered here and our 3d object is pretty much live in this footage okay so now let's render this into video format so let me close this render so in order to render this into video format let's come to this render settings so make sure cycles is selected and come to this output properties so here resolution is full hd okay so enable this render region crop to region and select your frame rate here from which frame to which frame you want to render so here i will leave it to 307 only so fps 30 frames okay and i will leave this default location and let me change this to jpeg format and quality increase this to 100 so once this is done come to this render and click on this render animation so it starts to render our scene along with the animation here so in this way we can track our footage and add 3d animated characters into the live footage using blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye